Beneath eastern California's scenic beauty, a geological giant stirs the Long Valley Caldera, one of only two supervolcanoes in the United States. While Yellowstone grabs headlines, Long Valley is under intense scientific scrutiny for good reason. The ground swells, earthquakes rattle, and a vast magma reservoir churns below, threatening consequences far beyond California. This sunken scar, 20 miles long and 10 miles wide, is a silent reminder of ancient cataclysm. Today, a thriving tourist region sits atop this restless system, now showing renewed signs of life. The USGS ranks it among the nation's highest threat volcanoes. Understanding its activity is critical for public safety and global preparedness. Since the late 1970s, Long Valley has been anything but quiet, ground rising, swarms of quakes, and new scientific urgency. The question, is this sleeping giant waking up? The answer is complex, and the data keeps coming. Long Valley's story is a powerful reminder. The ground beneath us is alive, demanding respect, not panic. To understand Long Valley, we must travel back nearly 768,000 years to one of Earth's largest eruptions. This super eruption ejected over 1,000 cubic kilometers of ash, 2,500 times more than Mount St. Helens in 1980. The aftermath was apocalyptic. The ground collapsed forming the caldera, and pyroclastic flows incinerated everything for hundreds of miles. Ash buried Los Angeles under nearly a kilometer, and traces reached as far as Nebraska. But Long Valley didn't fall silent. Smaller eruptions continued, forming the Mono Inyo craters, with the last just 700 years ago. The magma chamber wasn't extinguished, just recharging. For centuries the region was quiet, its violent past hidden beneath forests and lakes. But the forces below never rest, and by the late 20th century, new unrest caught everyone by surprise. The landscape's beauty masks a history of fire, and the stage was set for a new era of scientific discovery. The caldera's story is far from over. For much of the 20th century, Long Valley seemed dormant, until 1980. Just after Mount St. Helens erupted, Long Valley was rocked by four magnitude 6.0 earthquakes and unusual harmonic tremors, signs of magma movement. Scientists rushed to monitor the swelling resurgent dome, clear evidence of magma intruding into shallow depths. By the early 2000s, nearly 100 square miles of caldera floor had risen by 2.5 feet, accompanied by earthquake swarms and gas emissions. These were classic symptoms of a restless volcano, not necessarily signaling imminent eruption, but undeniable underground activity. The 1980s marked a turning point. Long Valley was no longer a geological relic, but an active threat. The Long Valley Observatory was established, ushering in a new era of constant monitoring. Decades of unrest have transformed our understanding and vigilance. The awakening forced scientists and locals alike to confront the reality beneath their feet. Long Valley's slumber was over. The watch had begun. Traditional volcano monitoring relied on scattered seismometers and sensors, offering only a partial view. Enter a revolution. Caltech researchers now use fiber optic cables as dense, sensitive seismic networks. Distributed Acoustic Sensing DAS, turns every few meters of cable into a seismic sensor, capturing even the faintest tremors. A single 100-kilometer cable acts as tens of thousands of sensors, providing unprecedented detail. In just 18 months, this system recorded over 2,000 seismic events, most too weak for older networks. Combined with machine learning, scientists have built the most detailed 3D map of Long Valley's subsurface ever. This leap is like switching from a blurry photo to high-definition video. Fiber optic monitoring is cheaper, more extensive, and continuous, setting a new global standard. The future of volcanology is now woven in glass and lit by lasers. The fiber optic network's detailed mapping has revealed startling new insights into Long Valley's inner workings. Scientists have identified two distinct systems, a deep magma chamber 12 kilometers down and a shallower fractured network of superheated water, steam, and volcanic gases. The deep chamber, a remnant of the ancient super eruption, still holds enough magma for a major event. Above, the hydrothermal system is heated by the magma below, driving frequent quakes and ground swelling. The new imaging traces fluid pathways with remarkable precision, explaining why some areas are more active. Thousands of micro-earthquakes now outline the magma chamber and fluid routes, acting as natural seismic imaging. This data finally clarifies the cause of ongoing unrest. 
a dynamic interplay between cooling magma, rising gases, and circulating water. The system is more intricate than ever imagined. Long Valley secrets are coming into focus, one tremor at a time. The biggest surprise? Long Valley's current unrest is driven by cooling, not heating of its deep magma reservoir. As the magma cools and crystallizes, it releases water and gases, which rise and build pressure in the shallower system. This migration of fluids causes ground uplift and earthquake swarms, classic signs of volcanic unrest. There's no evidence of imminent super eruption. A massive injection of new magma would be needed for that. Instead, we're witnessing a late-stage process as the magma chamber solidifies. But risks remain. Pressurized steam and gas can trigger sudden, explosive steam blast eruptions with little warning. These eruptions can hurl rocks and ash for miles, and shifting fluids may also trigger significant earthquakes. The cooling giant is less a global threat, but still a serious regional hazard. Long Valley's story is one of transformation, not extinction. For those living near Mammoth Lakes, Long Valley's unrest is a daily reality. The region's volcanic nature brings both beauty and risk, hot springs, energy, and tourism, but also anxiety. The main threats aren't super eruptions but smaller volcanic events and earthquakes. Steam, blast, eruptions, or significant quakes could disrupt life, damage infrastructure, and threaten safety. Experts stress awareness, not alarm. Monitoring provides early warning, and preparation is key. Residents are urged to have emergency kits, no evacuation routes, and stay informed through USGS updates. The Long Valley Observatory's color-coded alerts help demystify the science and empower the community. Living here means balancing enjoyment of nature with respect for its power. Strong partnerships between scientists, emergency managers, and locals are essential. Preparedness replaces fear with resilience. Long Valley's influence extends beyond geology, shaping both the economy and scientific progress. The Casa Diablo geothermal plant harnesses volcanic heat to power 40,000 homes, but is vulnerable to volcanic risk. Tourism is the region's lifeblood, skiing, hiking and fishing draw millions. But even a small eruption could devastate the local economy. Ashfall could close airports and highways, and the perception of danger could keep visitors away for years. Yet. The unrest offers a unique scientific opportunity. Long Valley is now a world-class laboratory for studying large volcanic systems. Fiber optic technology here is setting a global standard with scientists worldwide watching and learning. The data refines our models and improves eruption forecasting everywhere. The USGS estimates a 16% chance of a California volcanic eruption by 2050, making this research vital. Lessons from Long Valley could one day save lives across the globe. The region's risks and rewards are inseparable, driving both caution and discovery. Long Valley's story is one of immense forces in human ingenuity. Fiber optic technology has revealed a complex cooling magma system, redefining the threat as local, not global. Continued vigilance is essential. Scientists plan to expand monitoring deeper and wider. Constant data collection is our best defense, helping spot early warning signs. For those far from the caldera, Long Valley is a lesson in planetary dynamism and the value of scientific investment. The knowledge gained here has global implications for disaster preparedness. The message is clear. Respect, not fear, is key. By listening, educating, and preparing, we can mitigate risks and build resilience. The sleeping giant stirs but we are watching closer than ever, because knowledge is our greatest shield.